we're gonna see if we can fix this squeaking seat. My uh, my John Deere dealer recommended this stuff. Fluid film, powerful rust and corrosion protection, penetration, and lubricant. Uh, they just they sell this at the John Deere dealer here. Uh, they said it's real good stuff. So We're gonna try it and see. I don't know. Uh, I get, probably if you read in the owner's manual. This seat probably has lubrication points somewhere. I don't know if it does or not, but it is squeaking. I mean, it's about driving me crazy, and it's. I'm just going to take and spray this or spray something or do something. You know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm sure it's got lubrication point somewhere that you're supposed to or, you know to where you can lubricate it but it is driving me absolutely crazy doing that right there I know y'all can hear it I don't know I can't, it's hard to tell where it's coming from to know where it lubricated at. But I thought I'm going to take something and spray up under there and just see if maybe I can get it. I know it's the spring or the shock or something, something to do with that, you know. It's got to be. But, let's see, I'm going to put y'all look here. Well, this wide angle view on the GoPro, that ought to be able to see the whole tractor, I guess. Yeah, they recommended this stuff. They say you can know, all you gun barrels and everything with it. Uh, they say it stinks, and it, I see what they're talking about now. It, it kind of does. But they, uh, they say, you know, they told me a lot of people don't like it, but just because of the smell, but they said it's good stuff. So, if this seat will stop squeaking, I can deal with the smell. I can kind of see up under there now. I got, I got my hand up. And I can see that this kind of comes out of there, but then I don't know how hard that'd be to get back in there. You can pop that out. I don't know. Like it's going to be pretty hard to get in there. Let's see. <laughs> Jump up and down. See what happens. There's just a little bit of a squeak left. But I think I'm doing some good. Like I said, I know this ain't the right way to do this, but but I've been wanting to try something, you know, and it's been squeaking ever since I bought this tractor a year ago, but it don't do it bad all the time. Sometimes it's worse, and sometimes it seems like it gets better and almost stops, but then it seem like it starts back so i don't know maybe some of y'all have experienced this or and know the right way to lubricate this thing but just out here in the field today keep from driving me crazy 
this is what we're going to try. I want to put this straw back in here, but it ain't going to work. Well, shoot. We're going to hang on to this because it. Oh, here we go. Look, there's a straw holder on the side of the lid. Why ain't that just nifty? It came on that piece of tape right there. It was in that piece of tape. I can't get it back in there. There's a straw holder on the lid so you don't lose your straw. No wonder it's like $12 a can because you got to pay for the straw holder. It was high. I think it was $11 or something. Eureka Chemical Company. Made in the USA. Home, automotive, farm, industrial, and marine. It says, battery terminals, fertilizer and salt spreaders, vehicle undercoating, boat trailers, leaf springs, chains, slides, hinges, saws, hedge trimmers, outboard engines. It says it's good for everything. Fishing reels, guns, motorcycles, winches, locks, tools, freeze rusted parts. Will not burn greenery when applied to trimmers and cutting devices. It, ain't, it won't kill your hedge, hedges if you put it on your hedge trimmer. Will not readily freeze. No silicone or Teflon. Body shop safe. This is supposed to be just the best lubricant in the world, according to the label. So, anyway, fluid film. I give it two thumbs up, I guess you'd say. I don't do product reviews on my channel, but I wanted to show this one just because it was recommended to me. And it seems to work pretty good. <laughs> if this seat has stopped squeaking, I'll put anything on it. I don't care. <laughs> we'll put some diesel fuel on it if it quit squeaking. Lord have mercy. We got our chemicals in here. We fix and get five stars spraying. Got hot in here about the air on. Something on that side of the seat. 
I thought the flu was going to mind if I ride around a little bit, it might work its way over to where it needs to be. But that don't seem to be the case. We might have to call it a day, and that cloud doesn't look good. It ain't very big, though. I can see the other side of it. I just want to spray, I want to spray another 200 gallons. Uh, push off 58 this pasture and two more across the street. 
digging about 50 acres. And this was the first job that I had done with this tractor. I brought it to this farm here and done it with it. And this seat was squeaking then. And of course, I didn't have no lubricant with me. I like now, so very in trouble. Uh, but it was brand new, and it, you know, it, it was kind of getting them nervous. And I thought, well, this is, I don't know why it's squeaking, unless they forgot to grease it from the factory. Like there, that's what's got me thinking that there was supposed to be grease put somewhere, whether it's a grease fitting or just a spring or whatever it is. There was supposed to have been grease put somewhere. Probably wasn't the seat was being built. I don't, John Deere probably don't build the seat. It's a grammar, you know, grammar is a brand new. But, they, but they, anyway, there was, I think there was supposed to be been grease put somewhere and it, and it wasn't. So we got a sleep. But what I was going to tell you though is, you know, I put it off this 50 acres and then I went home to do a few more little jobs and it quit. And it didn't do it for a long time. And I had kind of forgotten about it, and I thought, well, you know, whatever it is, it's squeaking, you know, maybe it's, it's metal to metal or whatever. It gets a little wear on it and quit, you know, and it did. Well, I hit, I hit a bump with this tractor. I mean, I thought I broke the seat. The spring or whatever, however it adjusts or pushed, whatever, you know, puts tension on it or whatever. I mean, the seat went to the floor. That's how hard I hit this bump. And I was riding around when I hit it. And I thought, well, you know, I, I'm setting some of these tractors brand new on the lot where the seat was way down on the floor like that. This is not an air ride seat. It's just a spring seat. And I thought, well, I've done broke something. I didn't think that I broke it, I just, like there's a way to take all the tension off of this seat, off of the spring, and I think they do that for shipping or whatever. But anyway, I, long story short, I had to pull up on the seat a couple times like that right there, and it, and it put tension back on that spring. And ever since then, it went back to squeaking, and it's been squeaking ever since. Ever since I hit that bump. And this might sound weird too, but the, the rattling everybody's talking about in the gear shifters and the air conditioner lines and stuff, mine didn't do it until I hit that bump. I mean, I hit a, I drove off in a crater. And my head hit the seat. It was, it was a major ordeal. It was a, it was a catastrophic event. And, uh, Yeah, after, after that, the seat went back to squeaking, and, the, and now I've got a rattling in there, either the air conditioning lines or, or the, I know it's the air conditioning lines. I've got to get the, uh, we got to get away from this ditch. This, this is a ditch about like the one I hit that I was speaking of earlier. And it, it threw me for a loop. I just want to bring that up and talk about it. My tractor didn't have a whole lot of strange noise until I started. Well, other than the seat squeaking. Other than the seat squeaking, it, it didn't have any other noises until I hit a few bumps with it and then it seemed like I knocked some stuff loose. Maybe there's rubber grommets on the air conditioning lines and I may have knocked one off or something. I don't know. Well, I've checked it. I've checked down at the bottom. You can see where it's like come through the floor of the cab. You gotta make sure they're not rubbing there because they rub a hole in it, you're gonna you lose your free on it. So I've checked that. There's really no other one. I, I'm sure there's a way to access those lines, but you gotta disassemble the cab again. Uh, and so I'm not gonna do that right away. Maybe let, if I have to do that, I can maybe let the dealer do that. They, uh, I've got a little small oil leak too. 
I'll show you in another video. It's just, it's just a hole down there on the side of the engine block. I'm going to point that out to the dealer, maybe get them to fix it. I may get them to do something with this seat, too, but I can't fix it until he's down in. Looks like the rain clouds are splitting up. It looks like we're going to kind of be all right. I get another 150 gallons for you. I'm going to fill the house in. Let's see, it's about double over the clock now. It's taking a little longer than I was going to do. I'm going to turn around at this ditch instead of trying to cross it. I use this stuff a lot, uh, John Deere's white lithium grease. I like it. But I took the, still got my fluid film in here too. But anyway, I took this thing loose where I could see up under this seat. But I had a little time this, this morning. And I just sprayed a crap load of white lithium grease under this seat on everything every little slide every little roller spring look uh, there's a hydraulic cylinder looking there's a knuckle looking thing and a hydraulic cylinder anything i could see under there that looked like it moved i just covered it up with white lithium grease good or not I don't know but I'm still trying on this seat I think I might have it though we uh I gotta try to finish up my spraying today I'm getting a little bit of a late start this morning but we don't like a whole lot so anyway I'm gonna try to get try to get finished up today this seat squeaking is is really hindering my my videos because I I done some editing last night and I was I even tried to edit the noise this seat's making out of the video and I wasn't very successful so when I do finish editing this and post it y'all just have to put up with the seat squeaking for a little bit Yesterday, when I sprayed that fluid film under there, 
everything under that hood fluid film all over it, even though I couldn't see what I was doing. I was just trying to spray it through the little cracks and stuff yesterday. Best I could. Couldn't really tell if I was getting it where it needed to be, but everything under there looked like it had fluid film on it, because it's kind of yellow looking. And, uh, but I put I put light lithium grease on everything this morning. Every, everything under there. If anybody ever looks under this seat, they're going to wonder what in the world the person that owned this tractor was thinking. Because it's solid white under there now. <coughs> they're going to think, what is this? <laughs> But, yeah, whatever I got to do, get this thing quit squeaking, that's what I was going to do. That's what I did. Well, it won't quit doing this. <clears throat> If you can tell or not, but it is coming a flood. Maybe tomorrow. 